I'd like to talk about how students can collaborate in Seesaw using tagging by editing people. One way that you can do this or the students can do this is uh, to have one of the students in the group or the teacher can do it for them. You're going to add a and uh, post student work and you can choose whatever template you want. Drawing is fine because it's the same uh, canvas for everything. And uh, at this point, the teacher can either leave this blank or go in for, for younger students. It might be easier if you popped all of their names in. And then a new page. Sally and Susie. Okay, so now I have decided that the groups that are going to work on this assignment are Billy, Sally, and Susie, and I have, I'm going to add this to Billy's journal. He's student 11. I'm just going to pick student 11, and uh, I'm going to submit that. Now, when I, I, I don't need to tag any file there. That's good. Now, uh, what happens is that this shows up in activities, uh, sorry, not in activities, but in the journal, for the student because we've created a post. And you can see it's in here, it's Billy and it's blank. But you as the teacher, I'm still on the teacher dashboard, you can go in here and you can edit the people that are involved in this activity. And I want Billy and Sally and Susie to be a part of this. So I'm gonna click a check. And now this activity, if I look at Billy's journal, it's in Billy's journal. Right, so here it is. I can see that there are three pages with nothing on them. So let's say that it's Susie, and Susie is going to uh, go to her journal and find this post, and then she's going to pick the three dots and pick edit item. She's going to go to her page, there's Susie, and she's going to add whatever it is that she's supposed to add. Let's say that oh, she's going to add an arrow and a fabulous star. That is uh, in her work. And likewise, um, Bobby and whatever can do the same thing. Uh, Sally can add, do the same thing. She can go to her journal, choose the three dots, and um, do her work on her page. If they're in the same room and they're in the same classroom, one person can create the whole post and then and they could just use the same iPad to take a photo of what they're working on or whatever. Um, but that's not really um, social distance friendly. So this method of creating the one post and then tagging the students and having them each go on their separate iPads is a way around that. Uh, another option, if you want to have it assigned as an activity, you can go to your activity library and create the activity. And I just made a little dummy activity here and I'm going to assign it to um, every uh, three kids. So there's gonna be three kids in a group. So every three kids, write down my class list like that, yada, yada, and I assign it. Then I pop back into my class and go to the activities, here it is. And this makes it really easy for the students if you do this part ahead of time. So you go to, uh, sorry, go to add a response, choose student 11. I'm going to choose this blank canvas because it leaves nothing there. I, it's fine. Or I can add in here the same way I did before. I put Billy's name on page one and then add a page, yada, yada. So now there is a post in Billy's journal, he happens to be student 11, that is, uh, that is in here with this activity and it has two pages that I made. And so what I would do is go here and edit the people and add the two students that are supposed to collaborate with him. Now, no matter what location each of those students is in, you can instruct them to go to their journal and find the activity and then they choose the three dots and edit the item and edit their particular page. Um, for older students, you can leave um, instructions for how to add your own page and what you're supposed to do. Additionally, 
the students can uh, work on it like this. They can say, um, I'm going to work on this and I'm going to create a draft. Now over here is the submit as a draft button. I can't actually click it unfortunately because it's underneath my controls for the video that I'm recording. But if I click the draft button, then it will show up in all of their activity feed in the, um, in the part that says uh, that they're still working on it. That I think there's to do, in progress and done. So it'll be in the in progress section and then they can go into that and uh, edit the, uh, click the three dots and edit the activity and keep going. So that's one way to have it show up in the activity feed. It will show up in the in progress section um, instead of just going to the journal. So those are two ways that you can use the edit people function to tag students in the same post so that they can work on something collaboratively. Um, you might want to do this where one student had to do uh, where bears live and the other student was supposed to research what bears eat and then another student was supposed 